another programming type of question based on strings. Write a Python program. Remember, for the theory exam, only relevant function you need to write. Okay, write a Python program to remove the nth index character from a non-empty string. So you need to remove a character from a string. For that, you need to write a function and based on the function, the complete program. So suppose your string is a is pointing to a, b, x, c, d. An example taken. And suppose you are n is 2, which means I want to remove the nth index character from this string. So for the first character, the index is 0 and the position is 1, index plus 1. For the second character, the index is 1 and the position is index plus 1, 1 plus 1, 2. For the third character, the index is 2, the position is 2 plus 1, 3. So from a string, I need to remove the nth index character. An example taken 2. So I want to remove the second index character from the string. So this x must be removed from the string. Which means your answer should be a, b followed by c, d. Okay. So the method is <coughs> you extract this substring. After that, you extract this substring. Concatenate the two. You get the answer. Okay. So in order to remove the nth index character, what is the method? You extract this substring. You can make use of string slicing. After that, you extract this substring, again string slicing. After that, you concatenate these two. You get the answer. Okay. So your answer should be A, B, C, D because the nth index character should be removed from the string. Now, how do you do that? Your S is pointing to this string. Example taken. This is forward indexing. This is backward indexing. And your N is pointing to 2 which means your n is this example. Now, if this is n, what is this? n minus 1, isn't it? Again, if this is n, what is this? n plus 1, isn't it? Okay, so you know that. Now, I am going to extract this substring from this string. How do you extract a substring from a string? Go for string slicing. Okay, so let me perform string slicing. A is equal to string slicing. So the name of the string variable is S followed by the slicing operator. Now you need to decide on the start index and stop index. The start index is 0. So don't write anything by default it is 0. What about the stop index? The stop index is n minus 1. And if you want to get n minus 1, what must be the second index? You know that it must be n. Why n? Because the slicing operator returns all the characters starting with index 0, ending with the n minus 1. So you get this. Okay. So now your capital A points to this substring. Now I want to extract this substring from this string variable. Again, string slicing. B is equal to S followed by slicing operator. So just see how I am writing the code. Initially, I am not bothered about the start index and the stop index. Simply, I write the slicing operator. That easily you can do. After writing the slicing operator, bother about the start index and the stop index. Okay. So in order to extract this one, what must be the start index? 3 is an example. In general, it is n plus 1. Isn't it? So here you can write n plus 1. And if you, if you don't write the second index, all the characters till the upper index, till the upper index will be extracted. So leave this empty. So now your B points to this substring. Your A points to this substring. So A should be concatenated with B. This A should be concatenated with this B so that this is removed. Okay. So your result is R is equal to A should be concatenated with a B. So R does not contain the nth index character. So these are the three statements to be written. I hope you understood. 
Now function. Start with the keyword DEF followed by appropriate name for the function. Function symbol colon. A function header must end with a colon. Certainly you can pass arguments. Okay. The string variable should be passed as an argument. The nth index that n should be passed as an argument. This we will read in the main function. So that when you call this function, it can be passed as an argument. This is a good programming style. Don't read this inside this function. Don't read this inside this function. It's a bad programming style because one function should perform only one task. Okay. So usually the quantities are passed as argument. Don't, bother, don't forget about the document string. Don't think that it is unimportant. It may carry mark in the marking scheme okay so simply write a document string that you can easily write okay now it must be a non-empty string just read the question write a python program to remove the nth index character from a non-empty string so it must be a non-empty string which means you can write if length of s greater than zero only then you need to remove the nth index character otherwise you don't need to do anything else pass what is pass empty statement nothing to do now here let me write the code we have already derived the code it was explained in a proper way so let me write the code so the string variable r does not contain the nth index character certainly after calculating the result, it must be returned to the main function. You can either display R here, but here I am choosing a different method. Let me return R to the main function so that in the main function, the answer will be uh, displayed. You don't need to write the main function for the theory exam. So for the theory exam, this much is enough. Okay, so this is another function.